Today, we're going to take a look at Hebrews chapter 10, verses 11 through 14 for our Bible study. The author of Hebrews tells us that every priest of the Old Covenant stands and offers daily sacrifices which can never take away sins. We learn from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 11. But Jesus offered his sacrifice for sin once and then sat down at the right hand of God, indicating that his work has been completed. We learn from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12. He, being Jesus, now awaits the time when his enemies will be made his footstool. As we learn from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 13. As his offering leads to sanctification for all who believe in him. The Apostle Paul tells us in Romans chapter 14, verse 10, But why do you judge your brother, or why do you show contempt for your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. This is the promise that Jesus sits at the right hand of God, having defeated Satan and sin once for all. Jesus sits at the right hand of God, waiting the time till his enemies are made his footstool, as we noted from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 13, as stated in the New King James Version. At that time, we will all stand before him to be judged. Those who have professed their sincere faith in him will enter into eternal life in his glory, as noted in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 4, and those who deny him will be cast into outer darkness, where there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth as stated in Matthew chapter 13, verses 41 and 42, and also in verses 49 and 50. Jesus has made the way to heaven for us all. The only thing we need to do is acknowledge this to him as, and ask him to include us in his eternal kingdom and begin living this physical life as he teaches us to be in Christ. Sincerity in this brings about forgiveness, a cleansing of our hearts, and repentance from willful sin to following Jesus. Dear Lord, you offer the only sacrifice that takes away sin and paves the way to eternal life in heaven, forgiven and clothed in your righteousness, given freely to those who believe in you. I pray, dear God, that when we stand before you at the door to eternity, we will stand on the cross of Christ, forgiven and clothed in the righteousness of him, that we would not be cast into eternal darkness, but into eternal life, sanctified in the light of Christ Jesus, who died to save the world from sin, as we know from John chapter 3, 17. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.